Hey there, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set transparency to your Windows form while you're writing your Phoebe.net application. So let's first create a new project. Select Windows Forms application, give it a name of your choice and click on OK. Now this will open up a blank form without any elements on it. So there are two ways with which you can achieve that transparency. First is select the form and here in the right hand side you will find there are properties for that form. And here you can see transparency and there is color set for the same. Okay, so you can change the color for that transparency and you can have it accordingly. Okay, so let me just go back to whitish color and there you have one more property called opacity. Whenever you want to do transparency to your Windows form or any object and for that you have to use opacity property of that form. So select property, change it to 45 or simply 40 hit enter this will have property for the windows form as 40 percent save the project and now click on debug as you can see here you have our transparent form which is very less visible due to the part it is 40 percent in opacity now what if you want to have proper window border but only the content inside this as transparent in that case we are going to use a transparency key in our code so set it back to 100 again hit enter now inside this form you will find form load subroutine so type back color is equal to color dot let's say we have plenty of color here aquamarine antique blue brown etc let's go with something like crimson or maybe coral okay now for transparency type trans parency key equals to back color okay to show you this icon as for not declare now if you check this for spelling you will find that transparency which is trans then parent C and then capital key and you can give it a variable back color as input save it go back to your form and debug for this piece of code and type F5 or simply click on this button you'll find that it is showing transparent here Okay. So as you can see, this is the type of transparency that it will offer. However, as you can note that this will this control will be accessible. So when you want to just have some sort of application that will have opacity like this to see through multiple windows behind then you can use it otherwise simple opacity properties as well okay so i hope you find this tutorial helpful if you have any questions if you have any comments suggestions or want to have some web.net related problems solved do send me a comment on youtube channel
Thank you for watching.